There's been a new sheriff in town for the past four years, and he's been burning up the TV ratings and taking the world by storm. If you're not sure what we're talking about, it's none other than the popular series Yellowstone. For those who may never have seen the series, Yellowstone is described as The Sopranos, but on horseback. Although we think we may know everything about the captivating series, you wouldn't believe some of the storyline secrets we're about to reveal. Make sure to Stick around till the end of the video to find out all the juicy insider details. So, is Yellowstone based on a true story? Probably one of the biggest questions fans of the show continue to bring up, is Yellowstone based on a true story? Simply put, no. On January 2nd, the fourth season of the Paramount Network's neo-western ranch drama Yellowstone concluded with its last episode. The fourth season of the show was met with critical acclaim, revealing a 100% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, just like all the previous seasons. The network last month finally confirmed to viewers that the series would be returning for a fifth season. Yay! With such a large fan base, it's understandable that people would ask if the series is based on true events. True stories have always resonated strongly with audiences when adapted for the screen. The Alfred Hitchcock horror film Psycho, for example, was reportedly based on a real serial killer from Wisconsin in the 1950s. Yellowstone, on the other hand, is in a slightly different predicament. The show depicts a rancher life in Montana and features an elite ensemble that includes Kelly Riley and Kevin Costner. While some of the show's locales are based on real-life events, the story is pretty much entirely fictional. Next, the director and writer behind the captivating storyline wrote the popular series Sons of Anarchy. Another interesting fact about the creation of the beloved storyline is that Taylor Sheridan, who's recognized for his role as Deputy Chief of Police David Hale in the popular series Sons of Anarchy, was the brains behind Yellowstone. Sheridan apparently grew tired of acting after nearly two decades in front of the camera and decided to pursue screenplay and directing instead. His first professional directing role was for the horror film Vile, which was released in 2011. The Texan was listed as the film's director, despite his differing opinions on the storyline. Sheridan previously stated that he merely assisted with the film's direction as a favor to his friend, who wrote and produced it. Within a year of leaving Sons of Anarchy, Sheridan had an epiphany that led to him transitioning from actor to writer-slash-director. He discussed the motivation for this change in a 2016 interview. He explained, We were in the process of renegotiating, and I had one sense of how much I was worth, and they had a whole different perspective. Following his departure, he immediately got to work on Yellowstone, and we are very very glad that he decided to leave behind Sons of Anarchy and directing behind his friend, because this meant we got this masterpiece that is Yellowstone. Yellowstone borrows some elements from the 825,000 acres King Ranch in Texas and Sheridan's life growing up. If you watch Yellowstone, then you know the story focuses primarily on the Dutton family, led by John Dutton, who controls the United States' largest contiguous ranch, under constant attack from those at borders, including land developers, an Indian reservation, and America's first national park. In that sense, the 825,000-acre King Ranch in Texas influenced some of the story's storylines and script writing. Sheridan also added to the story by including details from his own childhood, as he grew up on a ranch in Texas. Speaking about this, he stated, Authenticity is important to me. I try to show people the world in which I grew up. In December of last year, he remarked in a promotion film with Paramount. This is what he attempts to communicate to his actors. The better I can get them to comprehend what they're acting out, the better the performance is. The more accurate the scenes appear, the more real it looks, he explained. Although we mentioned that the series isn't based on a true story, as you can see, there are pieces that were certainly inspired by true events, but they are very few and far between. Next, the filming of certain storylines can get dangerous. So what about the actual filming of the beloved storyline? Do things ever go wrong on set? Well, despite the fact that much of the drama on Yellowstone revolves around familial and political struggle, filming is nevertheless intense. Kelly Riley, who plays the smart and terrifying Beth Dutton, spoke with Parade Magazine about a particularly intense day on set when she had to film a scenario where her character dashes towards a pack of wolves. As Riley said, Beth was 
was yelling as the pack of hungry wolves heightened her concerns that the scene could go wrong at any minute. Thankfully, everything went according to plan, but nevertheless, a scary day on set for her. Additionally, during a break from filming, Riley revealed how she almost became a victim of a terrible Google Maps recommendation. The British actress took a shortcut while undertaking a day trip and ended up on a dangerous Montana mountain road in the middle of December in an ill-equipped vehicle. Her immediate reaction upon returning, she told Parade, was disbelief and gratitude. I can't believe I survived, she remarked. So as you can see, filming Yellowstone is no easy walk in the park. Up next, the Dutton family's chef in the series is a chef in real life and on set. Finally, dedicated Yellowstone watchers are aware that the Dutton family has a cook named Gator. Gator famously serves Beth, Kelly Riley, a smoothie with three scoops of ice cream and three shots of vodka. Gator, it turns out, is played by a man who goes by the nickname named Gator, whose real name is Gabriel Gabo. In addition to lending the character his real-life nickname, Gabo is an accomplished chef who is responsible for many of the meals given to the Yellowstone actors and crew behind the scenes. Gabo's presence on set, according to actor Ian Bowen, is equal to a diner open from crew call to wrap, where he does whatever you want. Pretty epic, right? Not only is he a great actor, but also an amazing chef, according to all the cast and crew. Now, everything you need to know about Season 5 of Yellowstone. We can happily confirm that we will be returning to the ranch. The Yellowstone world continues to grow, as the franchise's top series has been renewed for a fifth season by Paramount in February 2022. But when can we expect this season to grace our screens? Well, Season 5 will consist of 14 episodes that will be broadcast in two parts. The first seven episodes are slated to premiere in summer 2022, with the second half of Season 5 following later in the year. There will certainly be further updates later in the year, so keep your eyes out for that. Next, we will dive into the cast of Yellowstone Season 5. Although no official confirmation has been revealed, it is safe to assume many of our cast favorites will be returning, including the Dutton family, of course, who are the central characters in Yellowstone. Kevin Costner portrays John Dutton as the patriarch of the family. John Dutton, a man driven to safeguard his family's land and legacy at any cost, has become a trademark role for Costner, who's already starred in Bull Durham, The Untouchables, The Bodyguard, and Dances with Wolves. Other characters expected to return include Beth, a ruthless businesswoman and her father's staunchest defender, who is portrayed by Kelly Riley. Case, the youngest, is played by Luke Grimes, American Sniper, Fifty Shades of Grey, and Jamie Dutton, the family's black sheep, is played by Wes Bentley, American Beauty, Interstellar. Beth's husband and Yellowstone Ranch foreman, Rip Wheeler, played by Cole Hauser, Rogue, Olympus Has Fallen, Case's wife, Monica Dutton, played by Kelsey as Beale, Fargo, Wind River, and Case's son, Tate, played by Breck and Merrill, round out the family. Other series regulars include Jefferson White, who plays Jimmy Herdstrom, Gil Birmingham, who portrays Thomas Rainwater, Forey J. Smith, who portrays Lloyd, Denham Richards, who plays Colby, Ian Bowen portraying Ryan, Ryan Bingham, who portrays Walker, Finn Little, who plays Carter, Jen Landon, playing Teeter, and finally, Catherine Kelly, who plays Emily. There's no indication yet on who might appear as a guest star in Yellowstone 5. The actor of Yellowstone received a Screen Actors Guild Award nomination for outstanding ensemble performance in a drama series for their work in Season 4. And what about the storyline of Season 5? Fans of Yellowstone had been waiting months for news of Season 4 and speculating on when it could return, but that does not appear to be the case for Season 5. We'll find out what happens next to the Dutton family property in no time. Unfortunately, it's a little too early for any plot details for Season 5 just yet, but we can assume that the land fight between Market Equity and the Duttons will continue. Other than that, there are still uncertainties about whether John will run for governor now that Jamie is back in the fold, and how will Case's plan come to fruition. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Yellowstone and some key storyline secrets you probably had no idea about. Thanks for watching.